Hi everyone, welcome to another R tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get some uh, summary uh, information out of your data set and even perform some really, really basic statistics at first, but hopefully we'll, we'll scale up to something more advanced in, in the later videos. Okay, but before I do too much of that, there is a tiny, I don't even want to call it an error, but there's something, something that I want to fix on my data I don't want to spend too much of the video doing it, but let me let me show you what the uh, what the issue is. So I'm going to load my data set. Uh, I'm going to format the date column like I always do. Then I'm going to run the head function. I'm going to scroll up and notice that like the third, uh, the sorry, the top three, uh, sorry, the first leftmost three columns in my data set. Uh, what it's doing is every time I write the data set, it's writing the column numbers uh, every single time. Technically, that's not a mistake, but it's also something that I don't really need to record. So what I'm going to do is notice that these bottom two lines, what I'm doing there in line seven, uh, notice that uh, what I'm doing is I'm uh, subsetting my all underscore df, but I have a, a vector that's negative one uh, up to negative three. Uh, let me print that out just to show you guys what that vector looks like. Uh, negative one, negative two, negative three. Essentially, when I use this notation, this negative notation, it removes uh, any column that's negative. And since this is numbers one through three, it's going to remove those first three columns. And at the end, I'm going to do write CSV. And actually, I'm going to do that right now. Write CSV. And next time I use this data set, uh, I'm going to load the MBA version three data set. And it's going to not have those columns anymore. Not really a mistake, but it's not something that I, uh, that I necessarily want to do. So just a reminder, if you want to write a data set without the columns, Use, uh, use this syntax that I have in the bottom and notice that there's that row dot names equals false. When you have that argument in there with a right CSV, it's going to get rid of the, uh, the, uh, the, column, the uh, row names. But the main part of this video is going to be about summarizing the data. And to start off with, let's say we wanted to find the regular season points per game uh, for a particular player. I'm going to use LeBron James as an example. First thing what we have to do is separate the regular season games from the playoff games. But we've already done that in our data set. We already have a playoff indicator field uh, and I'll show you that. Run the names. Whoops. Uh, all DF. Can run that. And if you look at that last variable there uh, you can indeed see that uh, that we have, oops, I, uh, I haven't removed the columns yet. There we go. Let's run this again. There we go. If you look at that last field there, the playoff indicator field, that is a field we made in a previous video that separates the regular season from the playoff games. So I already have a field that'll do that for me. I'm gonna go ahead and create a subset, rs underscore df, rs stands for regular season. And it's essentially going to be everywhere where the playoff indicator equals zero. Oh, I need an underscore there. Let's try this again. There we go. All right. So these are only the regular season games. To start off with, we what we want is a vector of all the individual games that LeBron James has played and specifically we want the number of points he scored in each of those games. We can grab that out of our regular season data set. Okay, let me uh, talk about what I wrote for here for a minute. I'm using the bracket notation in the subset. I uh, make the I require that the player name is LeBron James, and recall that R is case sensitive, and because of that, I have to be careful about the uh, capitalization of LeBron's name. In our data set, uh, it has capital L, capital B for LeBron's first name, so I need to do that also when I subset. Also, I only want to grab the point totals uh, from the box scores. So in the second portion of the bracket notation, I specify that I only want to grab the values in the points field. 
So this is going to be a vector of all the uh, of all the point totals that LeBron James has had throughout the 2012-2013 season. I'm not really so interested in the vector itself so much as I'm interested in the grand total. So I'm going to use the sum function, which is going to add all the results of those vectors together. And this is going to give me the points total. Whoop. Uh, RS underscore DF. That's what, that's what I need. There in the brackets. Press again. There we go. Okay. Next, what I want is... Uh, well, what I actually wanted was not how many points you scored. I wanted to figure out how many points per game. There's a number of ways to do this, but one way is to take advantage of the games column that we created in a previous video. This is essentially a count of how many games a player has played. So if I take the total number of points divided by the total number of games, I'm going to get the points per game. I'm going to run this, and I get 26.8 as a... Uh, uh, if I ran to the first decimal, 26.8, more specifically 26.789, whatever, uh, and then it uh, eventually truncates. One of the great things about using NBA data, though, is that if you are unsure of your results and you want to validate them, uh, you, it's very easy to do because there are so many, there's so many uh, websites out there that have uh, sports statistics on them. I'm going to look at one right now. This is basketballreference.com, and in fact, it's the website where I pulled all the all the information for my uh, for uh, for this NBA data set. I just grab it right off of this website. So, in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that there are points per game totals, and LeBron James happened to be the had the fourth highest total. He had 26.8 points per game. And so far, it looks like, you know, we're doing, uh, we're doing a great job so far. We've figured out how many points per game LeBron James has scored. Unfortunately, it's a little bit tedious to, to have to do this every single time for each individual player. So I'm going to show you how to figure out uh, a quick and easy way to figure out the, uh, the top 20, 20 scores. Uh, unfortunately, I think I'm running a little bit long in this video. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'll show you that in the next video. So if you have time, uh, go ahead and watch the next video. Uh, and uh, if not, you know, come back next time and then I'll show you guys how to do that. So uh, I'll leave it there for now and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time.